Hello everybody and welcome to another Roberts Productions video tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to change the hair color of any person. In this case we have a, a girl with a lot of hair and we're going to change it to maybe a little bit redder color. Uh, the way I'm going to show you is a lot easier than just having to select everything with your polygonal lasso tool. That's this tool. Because um, then you'd have to get into these very little tight areas and s make sure you select every little piece of hair. And that could take days, hours, weeks, months, years on just one photo. It's actually almost impossible. I mean, it can be done, but all these little tight areas right here, I don't even want to mess with it. Okay? So what we're going to use today is we're going to do a method with the brush tool. First thing we want to do is go down here to create a new layer. And now we have this layer one. Next, we're going to go over here to the brush tool, select it, and make sure that your foreground color is set to white. Click OK. Now make sure that your brush size and hardness are set to the appropriate sizes this hair in this case I'm going to do it around 35 and the hardest at around 38 percent now I'm going to select all the hair on this girl obviously your selection is going to be a lot better than mine because I'm just doing this really quick for tutorial purposes but uh, you're going to have better results than me right now because I'm just making very quick selections. What you can do is you can resize the brush for different parts of the hair and uh, and select it that way. Take your time. Okay, now that we've got most of the hair selected, we can go back to the arrow tool. We can go here to layer one, set the blending mode to soft light. Okay, now you can kind of see a hair color change already, but it doesn't look as realistic. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to image, adjustments, hue and saturation. Control U if you're using a Windows PC or command U on a Mac. We're going to go here to colorize and we're going to bring the lightness down and we can change the hue to different colors. What I like is this nice red looking hair. That looks pretty good. Once you've finished coloring the hair, you can just click OK and then you're done. So we've actually went from this hair color to this hair color in just a matter of minutes. That's a big change. It's pretty awesome. So I wonder if this would work on a old lady. Get her white gray hairs and make it black again or make it her original hair color. Saves you a lot of money on those hair coloring kits, you know. It's a lot easier. Just take a picture, Photoshop it, change the colors. Uh, that's all I have for today. I'm Robert from Robert's Productions. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.